met a gypsy. How did the Stark deal come about? It was a great signing. So yeah, Morgan, the man. Um, I don't. They probably. I know they talked to a few people right after X Games. Pretty much, I think a lot of the big dudes probably got a phone call or something. But um, I think for me it was really like they probably were already going to talk to me. I'd like to think, but I just commented something on Instagram and like really, yeah. I said it was. They posted something and I was like, man, let's talk quarter pipe at Stark Future because I was out of power last year and that's kind of, I was kind of like, man, I need more power. Like, yeah, like, that would be good. And uh, they just like commented back like, we're listening. And then uh, I got an email from I think Morgan. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Or maybe I emailed. Or maybe they like told me to email them or something. I emailed them. Me and Morgan started talking. And uh, he's a legend. Yeah, he's super sick. They're, dude, everyone at uh, Stark is really rad. Like yeah. I have, I have nothing bad to say about them. Like they've been really fun to work with. Um, I saw Ole. You know, he yeah. just he left. I don't know what the yeah, story was with that, but I haven't seen. Um, he was rad. That. Yeah. Um, I think Morgan might be taking his spot or something, which is cool. And then Justin Bellarose or Bellarose. Yep. Yeah, he's he's, he's the guy over here. Yeah, the Phoenix like rep dude. Yep. Um, yeah, everyone's been really cool. But yeah, I just uh I remember talking to them. We had like a couple phone calls about it and uh I was talking to like Jeremy and uh you know Taka and every like kind of trying to get opinions because it's funny now everyone's like, Oh, it's a cheater bike and all that stuff. It wasn't that when I signed with them. I was like, This is I pretty much it was like, okay, I'm not getting a medal next year because the no sound, like electric bikes have been in X Games for five years, right? Or like something like that. Like they? They, yeah, Nate Adams was riding an Alta in Best Whip years ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they've been in Whip for a long time. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't remember that at all. Yeah, Sheehan's been doing it on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, they've been in, in Whip. They've Well, yeah, Sheehan there. rode one last year, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, I mean, yeah, Nate was riding it in like 20... 16 or something or no, maybe not 16 but like you know 17 18 yeah um but no one's ever done really that good on it and it doesn't make noise and everyone thinks that panic rev is like a big part of winning a whip contest so i was like okay if i sign this deal pretty much writing off getting a medal probably is what i was kind of thinking um and everyone kind of said it was a bad idea really yeah no one really thought it was like i, I think jeremy might have said he, he liked it because i mean it's like you know you're getting paid by a manufacturer which is pretty insane like the factory deal yeah um so was, for me i couldn't turn it down no matter what financially like i just i was you in the, you at the end of last yeah. year i was like broke like i i literally like i want imagination because i had to like i mean it was like was there prize money for that um i ended up getting some because i won like they gave me like the progression award and something else or something. um yeah that's right yeah and, but um i was like I didn't have any good deals last year. Like that were, I mean, they were fine. Like people that have supported me have been supporting me, but um, I didn't. I was really hoping to get like a big one last year. I was trying to get like an there's a difference an between drink. like real support, yeah, like, to where you don't have to worry, worry about you don't it. have to worry about yeah. your bills. I was kind of like I really I lost one sponsor, and then I kind of thought some people were going to come in. I broke my wrist uh, the the winter or like the right before January, like a year ago. Um, so I ended up not really having anything and I wasn't really making that much. I was like, I needed to like make it happen. Then when Stark came around, it was kind of like, I can't say no to a, no matter what, whether which, it's better or not. Well, well then I, I rode the, yeah, pretty, I'll tell you, yeah, whether or not I didn't like the bike, I probably was going to sign, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I went and rode the bike and, uh, I loved it on the track. And then I rode it at Maddo's house with stock suspension. And, uh, I wouldn't say I loved it right away cause it was just so different and it was scary and like, but I did a couple whips on it, and I was like, I don't see why this can't do everything I'm doing on the 450. I wasn't thinking it'd be better. I was just thinking, like, I don't see why I can't do the same thing I'm doing. Mm. And then I would get comfy with it, and ended up, obviously it's working out really good. Um, but, yeah, it was, like, it was a risk when I signed. It's funny. Everyone's, like, acting like they want to, like, protest it. And so I'm like, dude, this thing's been here for five years, and no one cared about it until I started doing that whip. Now now you care. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a good point. Yeah. Like, Sheeny was in it last year. I completely forgot about yeah. that, Nate Adams. So it's obviously not just the bike that has. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think if you, I was I had some pretty big ones on the 450 right before you I got were, off. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. So I, it really, the bike, like I said, the bike that bike really helps on a smaller jump, where having that snap really helps. But overall, so watch, it's still it's still the same. Where's thing. a good whip that for, first video right there? Is just the first cool. one. Yeah, just the little fits at it. So let's watch this and like crank. Uh, let's walk us through like what you're talking about that whole we don't need the sound that's all good I mean it's comeback kid song which is sick but whatever <laughs> we just can't use it <laughs> uh, yeah play it yeah it'll just loop so is it better every way um, pretty much 
Yeah. And what uh, are you? F- oh my! They're so disgusting. It doesn't feel like that. They're so. It disgusting. doesn't feel that gnarly. I'll do it, and I think don't think it was like a good one. That Sean shows me a clip. I'm like, oh damn. Like full blown disgusting. It doesn't feel like that. And what like so? What I'm imagining is, is the fact that because to pull the whip back, you're obviously like cranking on the throttle, the inertia of the wheel. You throw the bar this way a little bit to get that little like snap, and then it. But being able, but basically, like when you're valve bouncing on a four stroke, it's because you've topped out, and mm-hmm. the gearing is now. There's no, you've yeah. got more power in the motor, but it's the gearing that's stopping. Yeah, the, so I was telling you before, before spinning. we started rolling at Imagination during Best Whip, I uh, one of like the biggest ones I did, I shifted up twice in the air because I could tell like I cranked it really hard and like my front end was diving, so I just started grabbing gears and like I got kind of it's like when I realized I'm like, dude, like wheel speed, I almost I started thinking about like I wonder if I could come off the lip and like grab third and just smack it or something like so, like wheel speed is important. So yeah, well. And it's not until you ride one of these for the first time. <laughs> well, like at Glen Helen, dude, the, I got one before World Vets because I did World Vets on it. And I hit the finish line and just gave it a rev in the air, like almost out of habit. Mm-hmm. And just the, the thing just... Like, did you have grip tape on? No. Yeah, that's bad. Almost, <laughs> almost went completely off the back of yeah, the bike. Yeah, you got to have grip tape on those things. Because they've got so... They, you basically infinity gears yeah. until all you're in fifth gear wedge. So you can go from being like a first gear, like let, let's say you're doing like a first gear seat bounce, mm-hmm. but then you crack the throttle in the air, fifth gear. There's a open. there's a clip if you go down on a super kicker. <coughs> it should be like, it's pretty... Pretty recent. Go down, down, down. Uh, wait, where is it? Keep going. A little further. Right there, the middle one, right there. Yep. This is so. This is like super kicker, and just come. Oh off my the, god! Yeah, come off the lip, and then you just pin it. What the fuck, bro? But that one I didn't even like pull. That was just like leaning with my head, and then letting the bike go zip, and it brings it back up. So like so when are you hitting the rock and it comes back up so you're going up wide open right when i get upside down it just comes back because you know what's cool about that bike you can dump the front a lot more because you have that wheel speed so you can like let it just dump and it comes back up but it was it was scary like um i remember the first day i rode it i think the first day i like had suspension and was like okay i'm gonna go figure this thing out like i'd signed the deal already um like the first couple like whips getting used to trusting that like turn up too, especially turn up, like just, just goes straight up in the air. Like it was really scary. And it was kind of good that I signed that deal because I was like forced to figure it out. Yeah. But I think like, it would be hard for someone that isn't motivated to make the switch to like get super comfy with it, how it acts in the air because we're so used to 450s and stuff. Like I was kind of forced to be like, right, I got to figure it out. Yeah. And it really didn't take that long. It was just a scary you know, a couple sessions where I was like, I'm just going to push it and I need to find the limit, you know, I need to figure out what, how it works. Did you do any whips into the pit or was no. it all to dirt? No, just dirt. Yeah. I was, I mainly figured that bike out in Retchy Canyon one day. I just went and started hitting a bunch of jumps and like. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy gang.